In Blocksheet 2, the conditional manager that's present throughout the theme settings has been revamped from the ground up to offer more choice when selecting the desired display conditions for a given feature. The conditional manager is the one that controls many of Bloxy's features and where or when they get activated. For example, it can make an additional header configuration show up on some specific pages or during a specific time period. It's also the backbone of our content blocks system. This system lets you embed various pieces of information throughout the site in a dynamic way. Until now, the conditional manager supported simple conditions and combining them was a bit difficult, so you couldn't achieve advanced setups, such as showing a pop-up only during happy hour and only for your foreign visitors. With Bloxy 2, the conditional manager now supports an advanced mode where you can combine multiple conditions using a powerful set of relations that can be changed between OR or AND. It has also been made more consistent to not make the user hunt around for various options. And it also has been made more streamlined, presenting only contextual options where it is the case. Let's check out a couple of examples to see it in action. In this first example, we can check out a few new conditions for the content block system. Let's start by navigating to the WordPress dashboard, click on Bloxy, then choose Content Blocks. Edit any content block you may want or create a new one. Choose the Bloxy panel in the top right corner, then choose Add or Edit Conditions, depending on the context. And our familiar conditional module shows up again. As you can see, most of the classic display conditions are here. You can select the entire website, all archives or singulars, or drill down to a more specific condition. However, there are a couple of new display conditions at the bottom of the list. Let's explore them. First up are the date and time conditions, which lets you specify when the feature will take effect. There's an option for the date and time range, which lets you specify a start and end date, and a recurring days condition, which automatically runs the feature on every selected day between the selected time intervals. This may be useful in case you're running a time-limited campaign or promotion. Next up is the Requests section, which is the most interesting one. These three conditions can unlock very powerful marketing capabilities as they take into consideration the user's behavior on the site. For example, the Request Referrer condition triggers whenever a visitor comes from another specified website. This can be useful in case you're running a promotional affiliate campaign with one of your partners. The request cookie condition can be used in case you use cookies to track user activity on the site and would like something to take effect if a specific cookie is present for the site in the user's browser cache. And the request URL condition can be helpful if any of your partner websites use URL parameters to track user activity on the site so that you can trigger a specific feature. I'm pretty sure you'll agree, this is a powerful feature. In our second example, we can check out a real life scenario. Here we will create a header that is applied throughout the website, but only if the currently selected language is Romanian. This will be done with the new condition relationships, aka the advanced mode. Back out of the WordPress dashboard and go to the customizer. Click on the header pane, click on the headers tab, then click create new header. Give it a name and to speed things up, we'll copy our existing header configuration. Now let's select it and make some adjustments. We'll speed things up a bit as we have to get to the conditional part. Continuing, let's open up its conditional manager. Notice the new dialog box inviting you to add your first display condition. The default choice is entire website, which is good, but in its initial configuration, it would make the header show on the entire site no matter which language is selected. That's why we have to add a second condition in order to select the correct language. In this scenario, we'll add another condition for the current language to be Romanian. We're still not done just yet. By default, the conditional manager is using the OR relation between conditions. So in this scenario, only one condition must be true in order for the header to be displayed. To change this, we must turn on Advanced Mode. And as you can see, the new relationship selector appears. Click on the AND relation to change it. Now, the conditional header module thinks like this. The header must be applied to the entire site. 
only if the currently selected language is Romanian. Great, we're ready to check out what we have accomplished. Sure enough, using the language switcher in the header to switch languages automatically transform the header into the other version that we've previously created. Perfect. Streamlined and concise conditions at your fingertips. And if you wish to learn more about what Bloxy2 has to offer, continue on to our website or click on one of our other videos to keep watching. Thank you.